All right, guys, what's going on? This is day 47 of the Squat Every Day program. And today, I'll be honest, uh, what you see here first is I've been using the hip circle, and I'll get into that for a second of why I'm doing that. But prior to this, about 30 minutes prior to this, I didn't feel like squatting. I was like low energy, didn't have a lot of coffee today, not a lot of food because I'm like nine weeks into a fat loss cycle. But I ended up doing some squats today because it's the name of the game. And I decided to throw on the hip circle uh, just for warm-ups and kind of build up. And the reason I was using this hip circle, which you can see, I kind of wear it in the high thigh. This is from uh, it's the Slingshot Hip Circles from Mark Bell. It helps with just like external rotation of the femur of the hip. So allowing like, basically when you use it, you have to kind of make sure your knees don't come into valgus. And I'm wearing a little higher on the hip just to kind of engage the glutes a little more. So. I ended up just taking these here and just started out with the bar. Things felt pretty good with it, I'll be honest. I, uh, I've been really working on making sure my hips track a little further back and get a little more posterior in it because uh, I am definitely like a high bar squatter, but I noticed that my, my hips kind of come forward a little bit too much and I lose kind of like hamstring and glute involvement, especially midway up, so I've been really working on that. But today, I ended up hitting a weight that I haven't hit uh, probably in years, to be honest. This was a, like an amazing session. I was super, super happy with this session. I worked up to something that is like 10 pounds under my all-time best. I did it like in a state, like I said, where I did not feel like doing it. And that's probably the biggest takeaway I've taken from this program almost now two months in is there's days where I just don't feel like doing it. I just kind of get moving and things move and, and even at my top sets I just feel sometimes not into it but the weights move. So I was able to uh, get things going with this, with the band. Legs felt pretty good from the other day, just uh, not crazy soreness. I actually felt pretty good body-wise. Uh, what I was really working on with this was obviously getting those hips back and loading up the hamstring squeeze and then driving through the quads. But also working on my back today, like my mid-back. And Earlier this week, I was doing front squats and my mid-back was taking just a pounding. I think it's because I did a little bit too much lap pull-downs earlier in the week and just had like a gnarly back pump. But I've been noticing that my back strength, like my middle, mid-back, is sometimes lagging. And that might be the issue of why you know, I collapse in the front squat here and there, because I feel pretty strong with the legs. But today I was really focusing on kind of pulling my head back. And you'll see here as I get higher weights, didn't really start clicking until I got higher. But pulling my head back, kind of pushing my traps into the bar, not flaring my elbows up as much, but kind of more putting them in line with my torso. And just really trying to almost stay as upright as possible in my squat. And it really paid off today because like I said, I hit the weight that I haven't hit in years. And uh, I will say prior to my top set, I, I hit a uh, 405 pounds, um, which was a weight that I've been trying to just touch again. So you can see here, this is 315 now. I'm up here and I still got my slingshot on. Like I said, I'm just really working on keeping my chest up, wearing like the shirt with the letters on there, especially in front of the mirrors, helps you kind of give you that visual key. But uh, things that were moving pretty good, I wanted, it was super hot in this gym today, so I was trying to squat through this and actually threw it on back here just because I felt like it was slipping off my back. But, now you can see I have the slingshot off, kind of got up some heavier loads. This weight moving really smooth there, really happy with that, so I made a nice jump here. Pretty big jump there, about 40 pounds. That stuck a little bit there, and 
And I'll be honest, I, at this point, I was like, I don't know what it's in today. But I told myself I wanted to come in here at least hit 180 kilos. That's kind of been my number that I've made in the past couple of weeks on my heavy single day. And uh, I smoked this. And, and check this lift out. I was super happy with this lift. Smoked this so much that I was like, we're going up. Super smooth there. So I've been missing 400 uh, pounds in the past couple sessions, and I uh, I hit 405 before this. And of course, my phone didn't record, and, it, and I smoked it. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'll go 410, go 415. I just went 415. I was here in the gym by myself. Music was on, and I was just like, you know what? It's Friday. I got a little bit of a break coming up here. Uh, on the weekend, because I'm traveling a little bit, I'm gonna go for it. I was just feeling it, my back was set, I felt great. And, uh, and this was the top single for the day. Got stuck there, and that's something that I've been addressing here. And in my next video, I'll go over kind of how I'm addressing this thing from certain box squats. But super happy with that lift today, guys. 188 kilo with my back squats on.